How's it going everybody? Welcome to the video. Had to put a beanie on today because it is cold outside. Close to snowing. But what we're going to do today is we're going to work on getting my hatchet ready. Because I want to start, I'm going to expand my bug out bag. And I'm going to get my hatchet ready so that way I can have it with my bug out bag. Um, two and a half pound head. 18 inch handle and there's the the pieces to lock it in and I have the, a sharpening stone for it because it is a little messed up it is a little nicked it is slightly used got this from a friend bought my handle from tractor supply so that way it's nice it's short but it'll still do the trick one issue is that doesn't fit. So this has to be shaped until it fits inside here, just barely. Then we'll get this slid down, then get it all put together, and then sharpen it up. So first thing we gotta do is get this outline traced on here so I can sit there and machine it down and get it all ready. It really doesn't need a lot taken off. You know, it's like around the edge there's some blue and then there in here where the blue is, not the middle section. But just around the edges, it just needs shaved down a little bit. Then it should fit in there just perfect. So what I'm thinking is angle grinder with a flap disc on it because basically this is just bunch of sandpaper and we'll just go over this and smooth it down until it just barely fits into there this should work perfect down nice so this might take a little bit we'll get back when it's pretty close well I got it to fit on partially it needs to be cut or trimmed a little bit more so it'll slide a little bit farther in but it is just needs a little bit more around the edges getting close Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to sand this down because I don't like the poly finish that's on this. I want more of a natural finish, so we're going to sand this down. using 220 sandpaper. So I think I did pretty good. Got it sanded down to its natural finish. The poly on it made it way too slick. So when you're holding it in your hand, that poly on there, just the handle felt too slick. And when you're swinging a hatchet like this, 
you don't need it to be slick. You want it to be in your hand. So I'd rather it be a little bit rough, that natural finish, and any oils from your hand will help protect this wood. So I feel that this is a, for me, it's better. So now we need to get this on and beat it to where it's down flush. This might take a little bit because even though that's almost there, it's just a quarter inch away from the top, but you want it to be a little bit under there. So when you, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's get this beat down on there first and we'll go to the next step. There we go. Now this is perfect. It's beat down into there flush, perfectly seated where I trimmed it. And it's just a little bit below the surface of the blade top right here. And you'll see why. So now next is we put the shims in. That spreads it out against the edges and helps it from backing out. So. Then you trim this off. And then we put these other shims in. So, let's get this off next. So, got it in. Got it knocked off. But it needs to be trimmed up a little bit. There's a little bit of excess on there so we're gonna get a chisel and just clean the top of this off some. So now I have it all cleaned up. Next is putting the metal cross pins in, which help hold it even better. So it'll hold like this. I mean, it's nice and sturdy, but these just ensure that it expands and holds itself in there. The bad thing is these don't have a slot to put them in. The first wooden piece, the first wooden shim had a slot to go in and push it through. Now this, you just kind of got to make them go in. Hard doing this by yourself. All right. There's one. So here it is now, basically finished and good to go. The wooden cross pin and then the two metal cross pins in it that will hold it nice and sturdy so you can leave it like this and it isn't going to go nowhere but what I do is since this is recessed in just a little bit is I'm going to do a two-part epoxy and fill this in until it's smooth across the top that way the glue kind of soaks in and holds all this together and keeps it from coming off because a lot of times when you have a axe or a hatchet, 
the head works itself off. So epoxy or a resin of some type to get in and kind of soak in and bond all this together works perfectly. All right, get the epoxy mixed up. Now let's put it into the top. Try to get it in there. If it kind of overflows a little bit, it's not a big deal because I can I can sand this stuff off and kind of smooth it out a little bit if it overflows the top. Alright, so there it is a little bit overflown, but what I'm going to do is just let it dry, let it soak down in, and then I will sand the top off. So let this dry, minimum of an hour, but it is cold outside so it might take a little bit longer. So let it dry and we'll get back to it after that. So here it is, all glued up. It is a little overhanging, nothing major. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the flapper wheel and knock that back and get it flush. And then we need to start doing something with this edge because I'm not gonna be able to show on camera probably, but it is all nicked up. So we're gonna address that. There we go. Nice and flat, a lot cleaner. Now we're good to go. So I decided before I sharpen this, let's do a little test. So I used a piece of wood back here before with the little mini axe that I have in my camp tote. So we're gonna use the same piece of wood and if that little axe can cut through it, and this can't, then it's dull. So we're going to try to cut through this and see where it gets us. Because I cut through this right here with the other axe. So try this one out. See if it'll cut through this because this isn't very thick I mean this is what inch thick let's see not very well I mean not compared to the other one I mean So this is with the mini camp axe that I have, and this is with the big hatchet that I just now put together. By then it should have cut. So it definitely needs to be sharpened. So let's get this sharp and then we're going to come back and try it again. 
So this is what I'm going to use to sharpen it. Um, marbles, you know, sharpening stone. It's got coarse on one side, fine on the other. And this is what it's meant for, is for doing axes and hatchets and stuff like that. I mean, you can I guess, sharpen a knife with it, you know, just sit there. But, like it says right here, axes and hatchets. So now, you've got the coarse side and the fine side. Now, feeling this, it is super dull compared to my little camp axe. I mean, this has got like, I mean, you can rub your hand across it like that. It, there's nothing sharp about it. Now it says, throw a little bit of oil on it. And this is a um, lubricating oil and also anti-rust oil. So I'm going to do the, the coarse side, then do the fine. Best way, just hold it in your palm and do circular motions. Then once you get it sharp enough, you go to the other side, do the same thing on the other side. Then you can switch to the fine and just finish it off. This is going to take a while, so I'm not going to record like, you know, an hour of sharpening. We'll get back to you when it's ready. So, now it's sharper. And <laughs> hopefully it works a little better. We'll give it a little test on this big piece of wood that's just laying here. Well, that's a lot sharper. I mean, I did spend about a half an hour watching TV and putting a good little edge on it. And it is hard to see, but a lot of the nicks that were in here are gone. So it is a lot smoother looking and a lot sharper. So hopefully, So hopefully this works. I don't know how good it'll work on this piece of wood. I mean, this this is a lot thicker than that little camp hatch hatchet. So we'll see. But at the same time, I know it's sharper. It might work better on a standing tree versus something that's here and it kind of wobbles around. It's a lot sharper so I am definitely happy with that almost feel like cutting a tree down but don't have no spare trees right now so now it's just make sure this thing always stays sharp as I use it I want to get a um, like sheath to go over this because I'm going to attach this to the bug out bag so I want to get a sheath to kind of cover this, so I'm going to start looking online, see if I can find something, and then figure out how to attach this to the bug out bag. I like it. It's not heavy, but it does have some weight to it. And it does work. So, definitely going to keep this around, get it in the bug out bag. So I think the hatchet is going to be a good addition to my bug out bag. Um, I'm happy with its performance. Um, 
and I didn't have nothing in there. I had that one saw, but I needed something a little bit better because what if I needed to chop down something bigger that that saw just won't work on? So I thought about it, put my hatchet together, and there it is. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.